today's recipe is restaurant style shrimp fried rice. I will share all the tips and tricks you need to recreate a restaurant style shrimp fried rice right in your home kitchen. So please watch my video till the end and let me know how you like the recipe. My channel all about easy to follow, easy to implement, ingredients always displayed on the right and highlighted for each cooking step. If you like my channel, please do subscribe, share and like. So come follow along and cook with me. First, we are going to make our sauce mix for the fried rice. For that, here I have taken an empty container. And to that, I'm going to add a few ingredients. Three tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Two teaspoons of oil. If you have sesame oil, then you can use that. That would be the best. However, if not, you can use any regular oil of your choice. One teaspoon of brown sugar. The brown sugar adds a really nice color to the fried rice. 3 teaspoons of rice vinegar if you don't you can also use regular vinegar 1 teaspoon of water a quarter teaspoon of white pepper powder if you don't have white pepper powder then feel free to use black pepper powder now we will mix all of this well and this is our sauce mix for the fried rice now we will marinate the shrimp with a few ingredients. Here I have taken 200 grams of shrimp that's cleaned and deveined. To this I will add a little bit of salt, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper powder and the sauce mix that we just made. I'm going to add one teaspoon of that and now mix the shrimp well with all these ingredients and set it aside for 15 to 20 minutes. In a pan, I have added one tablespoon of butter. Wait for the butter to melt first and then we will add the marinated shrimp. The butter has now melted. Now we will go ahead and add the shrimp and we will fry the shrimp at a medium flame till the shrimp is cooked. It does not take long so don't over fry the shrimp otherwise it becomes hard and chewy. The shrimp is now cooked. It took me about five minutes to fry the shrimp. So now go ahead and set the shrimp aside. To the same pan and the leftover butter, I'm going to add some beaten eggs and we'll scramble it. So here I have beaten four eggs and to that I have added half a teaspoon of white pepper powder and half a teaspoon of salt. So now go ahead and add this. And now we will scramble the eggs at a medium flame. I have scrambled the eggs. Now we will go ahead and start setting the scrambled eggs aside. Now we will start making our fried rice. In the same pan I added one and a half tablespoons of butter and we will also add two tablespoons of oil. Again you can use sesame oil but if you don't have that you can use regular vegetable oil as well. Now wait for the butter to melt and for the oil to be heated up. The butter has melted and the oil is now hot. Now I will add ginger. Here I have taken one and a half inches of ginger, finely chopped. Eight to nine garlic cloves, finely chopped. And now we will fry this at a medium flame for a minute. Now I will add, start adding the veggies. So here I have one large onion sliced, about 180 grams. Three fourth cup carrots again sliced thinly sliced and one cup of cabbage so now at a high heat we are going to saute these vegetables for about three to four minutes um, any Chinese food is always sauteed at high heat then it retains the crunchiness so first we added these veggies because they take longer and then after three to four minutes we'll add the capsicum and the peas so three to four minutes at a high heat now I will add half a cup of orange capsicum and half a cup of yellow capsicum you can add regular like green capsicum or red capsicum and also add a cup of peas now again we will saute this at a high heat for three to four minutes we will add a little bit of salt and also add a quarter teaspoon of the white pepper powder now we will saute this at a high flame for three to four minutes 
now i will add the fried shrimp and the scrambled eggs and then mix everything again together for about a minute now i will add cooked rice so here i have about 625 grams of cooked rice which comes to about 6 cups so i'm going to add all of that and now we will mix this gently or just toss it because you don't know otherwise it can become a little mushy also we will add the sauce mix and now we'll mix everything well together and cook this for another two minutes again just be very gentle while you stir it we don't want to stir it too vigorously because otherwise it becomes mushy again keep the flame at a high and continue cooking this for two to three minutes our shrimp fried rice is almost ready at the end we are going to add some spring onions this is a really really delicious restaurant style shrimp fried rice please try the recipe this way and let me know how it works out for you and thank you so very much for watching my channel